Hi guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, Doug at BudgetAstro.net. Um, been away for a while, sorry about that, a couple of months I think, if not more. Um, anyway, uh, new video. Uh, this is um, creating a composite image uh, using uh, layer masks, um, which is uh, quite a well-known technique. Um, the image you can see on the screen, M42 of Ryan, is uh, a good uh, image to demonstrate this on. What they call an HDR image, High Dynamic Range. Nothing special about the image, it's just an image, but it's called an HDR, meaning it's got a high dynamic range. It's got a lot of bright areas and a lot of dark areas and faint bits in between, and that's what they mean by that. Um, not a special way the image is taken or anything. Um, so we're going to use this one, and uh, I'm going to show you how to um, layer in the core of um, M42, which is where the trapezium is, which is what blows out that core, as you can see here, and uh, how to uh, make it look a bit decent. Okay. Uh, now what we got here is um, two images of uh, M42. We've got this thing, uh, and we've got this thing. Uh, the first one is um, 60 second subs, 84 of them I believe. Uh, so that's uh, what one hour, 24 minutes. Uh, but it's been processed, obviously. It didn't come off my camera like this. Uh, it's been stretched um, and tweaked, and you know a few little tips and tricks applied to it uh, to get it to look like this. Um, but the core. This area, what I call the core of M42, is completely blown out, as you can see, it's completely white. Uh, there's no detail in there at all, and uh, we, we don't want that, we want to try and avoid that if we can. Um, and the way we uh, uh, we fix that is by using this thing. Uh, and this is um, 4 second subs, um, 30 of them I think, uh, so that's what, 2 minutes uh, has uh, generated this. Um, and if I zoom into that, if my computer will let me, uh, there's the trapezium, what's called a trapezium, four stars, very bright stars, and that's what blows out the core of M42 when you do long exposures. Uh, and we're going to uh, we're going to layer this this area uh, of this image uh, into uh, this one uh, and make it look uh, a bit better. Okay. Now both of these images uh, have been stretched. This one, as I said, has been. Uh, um, stretched, processed, more or less finished. You don't need to do this, I suppose, when the images are finished. You can do it in the middle of the process, and if you want, it's up to you um, when you do it. You know, these these um, techniques that I show you are just my way of doing things. Uh, there's a, probably a hundred ways you can do this, uh, and wh where you put it in the workflow is uh, is your choice. Um, I, I tend to leave things like this until the end. I don't do this very often, this uh, composite image. I've only done it with M42. I think I tried it with Andromeda as well recently. Yeah, I did do it with Andromeda. Um, but uh, yeah, where, where you put it in the workflow is your choice, but I tend to leave it to the end. And, and again, the way I'm going to show you how to do it is just one of probably a thousand ways how to do it. So, uh, but it works for me. Uh, so this has been processed, and uh, and this one, this one has as well. Uh, it was quite a bit dimmer than this, and I've just stretched it a bit. This is a bit noisy, this thing. It's only 34 second subs, as I said. Um, and my skies are quite polluted, so if you're... Um, if you live under dark skies, you can probably get a, a, a result as good as this with one second subs, I would guess. Um, very bright um, M42, inc incredibly bright, brightest thing up there, really. Um, and this has been processed as well, so bear that in mind. It didn't come off the camera like this. You do have to process it, process it a bit before you can use the image for, for what, we're, uh, what I'm going to show you. Okay, enough blabber. Um, how do we do this? Uh, right, uh, select this, uh, the core first, this one. Uh, select that, and... Um, Basically, we want to copy it. Uh, an easiest way to do that is Control A, that selects it all, and uh, Control C copies it. Uh, so that's uh, that's copied. And if we go back to the um, original image now, that's all we need that image for. That one, by the way, um, you won't see that again. Uh, we've done we've done a bit with that. Um, and then if we do Control V, and that pastes it. And if you look down here, um, where my mouse is, click. Um, you can see that uh, the image of the core has been pasted over the top of the uh, background image, which we'll be at before. Uh, that's uh, pasted over the top, and that's what you can see on the screen at the moment. You'll notice they're different sizes. Um, why they're different sizes, I don't know. I had to crop this. I cropped this all pre-video, so to speak, to make sure it was right. I've still got to line it up, um, which I'll, I'll do in a minute, but uh, it is a, a different size image. I don't know why. I must have just had the, the, uh, the telescope aligned differently when I took them, but uh, it was a while ago now. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna, um, I'm going to line this up, and, uh, and then we'll get on with the uh, masking. Now, first thing we want to do, go down to where the layers are, down here. Uh, make sure the top layer is selected. That's the image we just pasted. And if you look at the opacity there, we want to click on that uh, arrow, and we want to reduce the opacity down to about 
40 odd percent or something like that just about 43 percent i've got that'd be good enough now if i uh, zoom into the image if my machine will let me uh, and then click and drag you can see i can move that layer about i'm just clicking and dragging uh, now this will actually snap into place this image um there and the reason it snapped into place nothing to do with it lining up the stars automatically or anything it's just cut to the same size it's, it's been cropped to the same size as the layer beneath and uh, when that happens it just sort of snaps the edges of the image snap into place um yours may not do that we well, almost certainly won't if you've got different size images um so what you need to do if you, if you you know if you haven't got exactly the same size image you need to use your arrow keys um and the, the quickest way to do it initially is use the shift arrow if I hold this shift key down and then use my arrow keys, I can shift it up, down, left, or right, sorry, uh, and then left. Uh, and that, that moves it several pixels at a time. Um, if you just use the arrow keys on their own, it moves one pixel at a time, as you probably can't see very clearly. Um, but it's now lined up, uh, and that's what, uh, that's what we want. So the images are perfectly aligned, and we can now start uh, doing our masking. Now don't worry too much about all this rubbish down here, you can see where the image is of different size. Um, you can see the image beneath and the image above it. Um, don't worry about that because that's going to all be masked out anyway so you won't see any of that in the final uh, in the final result, I hope. Um, okay, now the first thing we uh, want to do is create a, a mask for this layer. Uh, and if you remember from our previous videos, if we click on this button down here, um, that's the mask button, little round uh, white circle, click on that. And that will put a mask in that layer, um, which is uh, what we want. Uh, and now what we want to do is click on the actual image for that layer. Click there. Um, and if we do Control-A and Control-C, that copies that image. And then Alt and click on the mask. And that reveals the mask itself. Then we do Control-V. And what we've done, we've copied uh, that image into the mask. And if you remember from the previous um, tutorials, if you've seen any of them, uh, masks are black and white. Uh, and that's why it's posted, uh, pasted, sorry, not posted, pasted a black and white copy of the image into the mask because they're, uh, they're just, that's what they are, masks, they're black and white. Uh, the idea of a mask is uh, black conceals, white reveals, I think, that's the way around. Yeah, uh, the image shows through where the areas are white and the image doesn't show through where the areas are black. Um, so you'll be able to see the layer beneath where the areas are black um, and uh, we can make good use of that now I want to show you something here guys that uh, I actually only noticed when I was practicing this video you know about what, 20 minutes ago um, I'm just going to click and make sure that both layers are visible there uh, for the moment if you look at the image um, we know that both the uh, images are lined up uh, because I lined them up previously but if you look here can you see these black dots there, there and there um, there are those three stars and what's causing that uh, is the mask the mask isn't lined up uh, why you may well ask and the answer is I haven't got a clue um, but it's not I think what's happened if you look down at um, the layer here um, if you look at the actual image uh, on that layer uh, you can see um, a white line along the bottom that image is pushed right up to the top of the canvas but if you look at the mask it's not uh, and when you uh, when you copy the image and then paste it into the mask, it sort of slaps it in the middle of the canvas, which isn't what we want because the image is actually moved to the top of the canvas. So I'm just going to shift that mask up, and it should click in the place at the top of the canvas there. Um, and now, if we look at both images, the combined image, those little black dots are gone. Uh, but that, so that's what it was. If you see that in your image and think, what the hell is that? Uh, that? That's what it is. The mask isn't lined up. The image may be, but for some reason, the mask isn't. Okay, little tip. Now back to the mask, uh, do control D first, uh, control D, deselects and gets rid of that flipping dotted line around it. Uh, back to the mask, alt click, that reveals the mask, okay that's the mask we're going to use. Um, we're not going to use it as it is, it's not bright enough. Uh, and what I do, and how you do this is entirely up to you guys, you can do it with levels, you can do it whatever way you choose. I'm just going to go out to image, adjustment, brightness. And I'm going to brighten it a bit, I'm just going to whack that one up and make it a lot brighter. Uh, so that core bit is quite bright now, quite white. Um, and then I'm going to blur it, and you can do this any way you like, you can just black stuff out with a paintbrush, you can do whatever you want, but uh, I'm going to blur it, uh, filter, uh, blur, where's in blur, um, how much shall I blur it, about 10, that do, yeah that do, 
uh, so that's what 17 click on that now I'm gonna I'm gonna paste some of this stuff out because the only bit we want really showing through is the core I do want to um, just reveal both images again for a minute take that layer out so you've got the background layer if you look at the core there those three stars are barely there you can see two of them but you, there are three I'm gonna click on that top layer and then you can see the, see the three stars I mean that don't look too bad as it is actually does it as it is there at the moment if we click on that and then go to that there's a vast improvement um, but we might have a little bit better um, so I want I want a little bit more I'm going to reveal the mask again I'll click on the mask uh, a little bit more than just the the core I want it sort of coming out a bit more so anyway I'm going to black all this stuff out um, so we've got black on what black is the uh, over here black is uh, the one oh, I shouldn't click on that black is the color we want that's the top one uh, paintbrush Bosch there uh, how big is this not big enough uh, nice soft brush 300 that do us uh, nice soft brush make sure it's a soft one we've got black selected and now we can start painting on the mask all the way down the canvas all the way down the bottom there and we're blowing out all that and I'm going to uh, pause this video while I black this out so I don't bore you to tears there you go as if by magic all blacked out um, so that's what we want you don't have to use by the way I mean I did sort of control A control C control V from the image and I pasted the image into the mask you don't have to do that uh, you can just create a mask, uh, invert it so that it all turns black, and then just sort of blob white bit, bits of paint over this. It doesn't matter what way you do it. <coughs> I, I choose the image because this is particularly bright in the core there, and we can uh, make use of the, the shape of it, and it just makes it a little bit quicker. Uh, so that's why I did that. You don't have to do that. Um, now I'm going to brighten this a little bit more. Uh, wipe that up. Oh, it's probably a bit too bright. Um, I do. You can see the bits I've missed in the paint in here, so I'm going to cut them out. That'll be a bit as well. Okay. Maybe take a bit more of this out. And then blow it again. Glossium blur. There you go. That's not bad. I'll take that bit out now. Okay. Now let's uh, let's look at the image. Okay. That's what we got. Um, looking a little bit discoloured there at the moment. I'll get rid of that tool looking a bit discoloured so I'm going to fiddle with the opacity and what have you and see if we can make that look a bit better ok I got the opacity um, if we made that 100% look at that uh, bleh, horrible if we go right up to 100% uh, we don't want to do that uh, it was at 43 ish I think so I'm going to take it down a bit more just a tad more 33% get rid of that discoloration there you go what do you reckon What's that at? 28%. That's not bad. Uh, now, if we uh, click that layer on and off, that's what it was like before. And that's what it's like now. Still a little bit of discoloration. Let me uh, turn it down a bit more. 25%, so. I always tend to, when, when I'm moving these sliders, I tend to make it a 5%, like 20, 25, 30, 35, that sort of thing. I don't like numbers in between for some reason. So I'll make that 25%. Okay. Okay. Um, there you go, that's not bad. Uh, so that's what it was like before, and that's what it's like now. If we zoom into that, there's the core. You can see the trapezium. Nice. Uh, couldn't see it before. Look at that. And now you can. So that's pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. That'll do. Um, you can take this a step further, and uh, what I did on, on the image I posted of this, which I don't think is very good now when I look back at it, um, but uh, this looks better. Um, you can you can have a sort of a part processed M42 and save that, uh, and then use that and perhaps paste uh, layer masking. You know, sort of make a composite image of these bits to get that a bit better, and then and then do another composite with the with the core. You can do it in sort of layers, different layers, if you see what I mean, and that makes it look even better. But I won't do that here because that will uh, take too long and it will bore you rigid. All right, guys. Um, I think uh, I think we're done. Um, off and on yeah I'm quite pleased with that uh, so there's your trapezium all nicely uh, pasted um, and it's fairly seamless you can't really see what I've done and then you just flatten this image when you're ready uh, right click flatten image that's flattened so that's now all in one layer can't make any more adjustments to it unless I go back in history and uh, I can go back in history of course and take that out um, and then save it or finish the process or whatever you want to do Alright, good. I hope that's useful. Um, sorry it's been a while since I've posted one of these videos. I'm hoping to get another couple up in the next week or so. I've got a few more ideas what to do. If, um, by the way, if um, there's things that you don't 
you know, that I haven't covered or you don't understand or things that you would like me to cover, assuming I know how to do it, I don't know everything, uh, you know, I'm still very much a beginner at this stuff, um, you know, you're very welcome to email me uh, or put a comment on these um, on these videos, but if you want to email me, doug at budgetastro.net um, and uh, say, you know, can you cover this, can you cover that, uh, I'll get around to it eventually, I don't know when, I have a limited amount of time I can devote to this if, you know, if I'm not sort of um, processing images and stuff and doing all my stuff I have to do at home and my day job, um, but I'll do my best. Alright guys, I shall uh, speak to you soon.